How do I use this list journal to set up my 2020? I'm going to go through the steps of how I look back and look forward. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with my look back at 2019, look forward at 2020 with a clear vision of our 2020. And so I have made some little notes on how I go about um, working through this um, process and I did make this little list journal the video for how I made it will be in the description box as well as the final thrip th flip through of this will also be in there so um, I have gotten to number 78 of doing my hundred um, accomplishments and goals or wants that I met for the year. I've started adding, doing in my 100 for this year, some of the things that I want to get done and using it like that. I have a project page that I'm going to be using. And um, so these are projects like things around my house that I want to um to clean and organize. These are the digital kits that I have coming out this year and the physical kits so far. These are journals that I have in process that I want to finish. And so those will be added to my, um, to my list as well. And so let's go ahead and let me show you how, um, how I'll use this and I'll go about this tomorrow. I have, I'm, after this video is done, I'm caught up for a few days and I can just focus on this. And um, okay, so the first thing I would do is I'm going to look at last year's goal and want list um, and um, look and see which goals and um, wants. So a want is something like new carpet. Or, um, you know, a space organized or, um, you know, just something like that. It can be a goal, but it's really more, to me, it's more of a want. And then when I process it into um, more tangible something, then it, be, it, you know, it works into the goals. Okay, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at that a little bit. Okay, this is kind of like making the, the sandwich, you know, where you do a compliment and you do the hard stuff and then you do a compliment. And so we're looking at that so we feel good. And now we're going to go and we're going to look at it and we're going to look at that list from last year and we're going to write down the things that we didn't do and that we didn't meet and the goals that we didn't make. And... um for me, this is really important because um, one year, okay, I'm used to making most of my goals. If I do this process and I do the things that I put in place, um, as long as my goals are realistic and something I really want and I'm committed, I will make those goals. I mean, pretty, pretty, pretty much, okay? Um, one year... I didn't make any of the goals that were in. I'm going to show you. I have a circle here and it's got two places for two main goals. I didn't make either one of those. I didn't even come close. However, I had another goal on my list. It was a personal goal. It was something I really wanted and I was really committed to. And literally all the things that I put in place that um, help me subconsciously to work towards a goal. I had all those things set up for this goal and I, I married it. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, so this was this goal. I had these big business goals and home goals and I had this relationship goal that didn't get put on this page, but really it was where my heart, my mind, 
everything about me. That's where I was committed and working. And I did get that goal. And it happened that at that time, I was working with a coach. And um, she was in training to become a coach. And she's now a coach. And she's amazing. And I was one of her guinea pigs. And it was just really something as we're going through and it's like why didn't this happen and we go back and we look and you know this is why my my main goal i i i blew it out of the park these ones <laughs> not so much so um so this has become a really important part for me is to go back and to look at those things and to ask these questions um did obstacles come up Okay, so last year, both of my parents passed away. Um, I took care of my dad for two months. I wasn't home at my my physical at my house. Um, during the the first nine months until he passed away, I was at their house at least one full day with a five hour round trip drive. So, um, you know that. That was time, okay? And time is a big part of, you know, if you don't have time, it's not realistic. Things are not going to happen, okay? So what obstacles got in your way? Um, they could be things like your car broke down and you weren't able to fix your car, so now you're riding the bus and that makes it so that you can't do something that, that gets you towards your goal. Um, you know, just... All kinds of things could make that happen. Um, next, did I did did I really want it? And I go ahead and I well, down here you can see um, <laughs> I have a key, and I'll do a key, and I'll go through, and I'll go. Um, yeah, did I really want it? Uh, no, not so much. So a heart with a cross through it. Okay, yeah, nope, didn't want it so much. Um, I changed my mind or my course or my direction. I have a thing up here that says sometimes on the way to your dream, you find a better one. Oh my gosh. And I happened to buy that the year that, that I made this goal and didn't make any of those. Um, so did you change your mind, your course or your direction? Um, you know, it, it wasn't a goal anymore. It's like, I, you know, this happened, so I don't need that, okay? Um, do I see a, p a pattern? Um, was there something that I wanted more? Um, you know, did health get in the way? Did my job get in the way? Did, um, you know, something else happen that just made it so that I couldn't, um, couldn't have it? Now, you're going to do this part, the, the items not met, on a totally separate piece of paper. This does not go, remember when I showed you, mine is going to go in here, okay? So my not mets are going on this paper, and they're going in here. I've done it, but I don't have to look at it. Um, but I did it because it is part of the process that, for me, has worked out really, really well. So I'm going to look at each item on my list and then I'm going to decide, okay, you know, I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't get it here. Is that something that I want to add to 2020? Um, do I need to tweak it to add it there? Do I need to, to make it, um, more realistic, something that's easier to obtain? Do I need, need to change it or do I need to take it off the list altogether? And so each of those items, I'm going to go through um, the ones that I that I didn't make that were, I mean, important, kind of. They must have been important because I wrote them down. Um, so you go through and you figure that all out. You put the items into 2020 that you want to keep. And then you fold up that paper and you put it away. Okay? And so this is our sandwich. We looked at the good things and we're like, wow. You know, and then we went here and we're, oh, now we're going to go back here. We're going to go back to our list of 100 com accomplishments. And we're going to look and we're going to see what helped us to get there. Um, I'm going to put a heart by it if I was committed. Okay, so my video a day, I was committed. It happened, except for those three days. It happened. 
Um, my challenge each month, I was committed. I did do the challenge. I did do the videos. I didn't do the parties. But I was committed to doing the challenge and um, setting it up and exciting the people. And so those get a heart. Um, some of the things, I might have wrote it down and let it happen. So I wrote down... Then I wanted 8,000 subscribers by the end of this year because eight's my favorite number. And, and looking in January, I, that was, that was, um, a big goal. It was a little bit above realistic. Um, I was very lucky to have a video kind of not go viral, but in our little community, it, it went, um, and did really well, and that was the privacy envelope um, video, and people watched it and then watched other videos, and so I um, performed really well. I got, I was on the little list over here on YouTube, and so people saw it, and so I ended up, I I will end up the year at between ninety five and ninety six hundred, and that's after YouTube took like 120 subscribers off of my list last week. Between last week and this week, my subscriber list went, it, it dropped down. And then I'm seeing some of the big channels less like 1,000. And so I, I'm lucky I only lost 100. So you might check and see if you were subscribed and you're not. You might want to check and see if you're subscribed to, so that you can um, subscribe. Anyway, um, so I wrote it down and I let it happen. The subscriber thing was not something that I didn't, I didn't offer incentives to, to have people subscribe. Um, you know, I want my subscription to be organic and that people are actually wanting to be on my YouTube channel. So, um, okay. So this one is the little dot and it stepped up, overcame an obstacle to shine. That's something that boom, thrown at you and you have to take care of it. But after you take care of it, you can consider an accomplishment. So taking care of my dad, taking care of the arrangements for my mom and my dad, writing their obituaries, writing um, and doing their eulogies. All of those things are huge to me. And so, but I didn't, I wouldn't have done them obviously if i if that obstacle hadn't been thrown at me and i had to step up and do it so i do put those in there because sometimes those are the things that you know it's like oh my gosh i had to take care of this i had to deal with it it can be an illness it could be um an illness of someone else all different kinds of things okay and then i do a square for the little things that help big things happen so those are the little habits, the little, um, the little things that you might do that you do it and you do it and you do it. And then all of a sudden this happens and you know it happened because you did this. And I want to know those things because I want, I'm going to be, you can really only work on two or three. I mean, that's even big, um, totally committed things, but other things can be working and happening because you're working on those. So, um, a double star is a result from a committed goal and a star is totally happened on purpose. Okay. The video a day happened on purpose. I made that happen. Okay. The challenges each month have, I made those happen. Okay. Get up with my husband and give him make his lunch every day. I made that happen. It was on purpose. So, um, okay. So now that you've gone through your hundred and it, and you don't need to take a real long time, just go and come up with your own key that makes sense to you. And now you're going to look back at your hundred and you've gone over it a couple times now. And, and you have those things that make your, your heart and your brain and your smile hurt because you are so proud of them and I want you to write those down. I am most proud of this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. And and then the ones that you're surprised that they happened. Okay, so um, 
you know, sometimes things happen and it was not in your plan or it's something that is totally out of your wheelhouse or your comfort zone and you did it and you're surprised that it happened, but you did it. So, um, or you might have met a goal that you were like, I totally forgot that I wanted to do that. I wanted that to happen and it did. So, um, so we want to recognize those. And then you're going to choose your 10 most outstanding goals and wants met and write their story. If you have time, um, you know, it's getting close to the new year and you might not have time to do that, but you might want to write your little tiny story about, wow, this, I did this and this is what I did to do it. And I, I am so happy, okay? And what you're doing is you're building yourself up because now you're going to be setting up your 2020. Now, if you are in the place of, gosh, I didn't make, like if I just sat there and just looked at those goals that I didn't make that one year and I would have like, oh my gosh, I didn't, I can't believe it. What's the matter with me? Blah, blah, blah. And I didn't discover that, wow, I made this one and I did all of the things that I do that help my my brain help me to, to make a goal. Um, I set all those things up with that. And so, um, and if you're interested in some of those things, let me know and maybe we'll put together something where I can tell you about the things that I do to help my subconscious work. Because <laughs> um, this is this is what I do. This is how I earned a car in Mary Kay and became a director. It's how I was able to uh, retire from my grocery store job that I was either going to have to um, go down to part-time <laughs> A huge cut in pay, not being in charge of anyway. Um, but this this is how this is part of how I did it. Okay, so um, let's see. So now we're gonna do our look forward. So we're just gonna be writing the things down. You know, I want new carpet. I um, I want to go see all of our grandkids, and. Um, one year, I, I, my thing was to, to spend their birthdays, all of their birthdays with them. One year, we had graduations um, from elementary and junior high happening all over. And that was how I did. I was like, okay, I want to be at all the graduations. Um, you know, and, and the year that I did the birthday thing, it happened. I don't know how in the heck we have grandkids. now. Well, then we had them in San Diego, Colorado, and Washington, and now we have them in Arizona, Colorado, and Washington. So, um, you know, so that's, but that's something I want to, to go and, and see them and be in their, their atmospheres, their, their places. And, um, so that's on my list. Then I have some, I, I want to, um, do my Bible study every day. Okay, every day. And I want to drink water every day. So those are on my list. <laughs> and um, there will be things that I will do to have help ha help those happen. Um, so I'm going to go through, write out my list, all the little things, little things, big things, material things, relationships, spiritual, home, um, projects, um, all the different things. Um, habits as well. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at my list and I'm going to put, put down it. Does it have to be done? Um, I have to open the bank account for my dad's stuff. Okay. Actually I have to open two. Has to be done. Okay. Has to be done. I have to sell that van. Has to be done. Okay. Is it realistic? Yes. Um, do I really want this? Yes. I know how to accomplish I know how to accomplish this. Um, I can put a circle there if I know how. And if I'm not sure yet, I can leave that blank. And that's something that I can figure out. And then do I have a timeline? Do, do I need to have it done by a certain date? And I put that date out in the front of the, um, of the list. 
Okay, so now I'm going to look over the list. Is there something I have total control over to get done? Okay, example, it's a number thing. Okay, so if you're in a business and, you know, one of the things that you have control over is how many phone calls you make. Okay, I had control over how many videos I make. There you go. Um, or how much time I'm going to spend on something. I have control over that, sort of. <laughs> um, so the video day a challenge each month those were things that I had control over so um, is there something like that in your list that is one of your your things that you are really committed and want to do is it balanced is your list balanced with home relationship business hobby spiritual and you can even color code your list if you like you know, yellow for spiritual, green for business, you know, something like that, okay? Um, and now you're going to look at your list and you're going to pick out the 10 items that you most want to happen, okay? The 10, if I looked at that, what are the things that if, if money were no object, time were no object, and I could do it, what were the things that I want to happen? And um, what will it, then you put those over here. You write those on a list, and then what will it take to get there? And ask again, um, is it something I have to do? Is it realistic? Is it something I want to do? And do I know how to get there? Do I know how to get it? And then you, I pick two or three to concentrate on. And then um, I put other, put the, I look at my, the rest of my 10, and I'm like, well, what can I do that will make these things happen. Um, you know, I could put out eight, I could put water in bottles. Know that I need to drink those, but, but put those things in motion as well. Is it something that I can have somebody um, help me with and that I'm accountable to? Um, I have a networking group and that is what, um, part of what we do is, we have a, a meeting where we put out our goals and the things that we're going to do, a business goal, a personal goal, a health goal, and for each month. And, you know, you put it out there and you're accountable to them. And guess what? Those things usually happen. So um, that is how I do that. So my, my two or three items in this context are going to go on... So my, my 10, it's actually, I've got room for 16, but they're going to go here. And then my big ones are going to go here. And so that I, and then I'll put a paper clip here and I can come back and I can look at it. And then I will plaster my life with these things. Okay. So, um, um, that is how I will be using this. So here we go through, look at the list, make the, make the notations, uh, make the, the naughty list, <laughs> put it in there, um, things I'm most proud of, and then go and take from there and put them onto here. But you can see I'm also, um, I have, I have my dad's camera, but I can't find the, the cord, so check the 12 camera, the pantry, the fridge, the freezer, New Year's table, gold and silver. So this is just a list of things that I want to do. And then here, like I said, the kits, the digital kits, these are all, it's, it's my list journal. So it's going to have all those things in it, but I am also using it to set up these goals. So design team, 30 day challenge that I'm going to do on my home, getting the parties set, Again, video each day, challenge each month, plant my vegetable garden, front, front planner redo, watercolor for each holiday. I want a watercolor this year, and I was like, how can I do it? Well, if I do a watercolor for each holiday, same size, goes in the same place in my house, I'll probably get it done. I want to make 50 cards and keep, my, keep it replenished. Um, make and order business cards. Um, a digital zine quarterly, um, bank account for the estate, 
sell the van, take Lucy home. Lucy, it's time for, they got their house, so it's time for Lucy to go home. So um, that is how I use this, how I'm going to use it. And that is how I set my goals or wants and work to accomplish them. So I want to thank you for being here. I'll put the um, other two videos in the details down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more things like this, let me know. And um, of course, if you love this video, please go watch another video because YouTube likes that. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing evening. Be safe and Happy New Year. Bye. Bye-bye.